Hi folks, welcome to your MWIS Friday Planner in association with Ellis Brigham. We have a rather changeable weather pattern that stays in place through this weekend and into the early part of next week. A more complex weather situation than we've seen in some recent weeks where we're never quite getting rid of the threat of some rain or some showers coming in from the Atlantic on generally southwesterly winds. Northern regions will stay typically on the cool side, but some milder and more humid air comes into the south at times. And that's very much the story into Saturday, where a cold front draped across southern Scotland and northern England is the boundary between fresher, cooler conditions across much of the highlands and comparatively milder and more humid air that exists across England and Wales. For Wales, it's a drizzly story with some low cloud coming in off the Irish Sea. Rain turning more persistent over northern England as that front sinks southwards, but early heavy rain over Scotland fading, but then followed by showery, unstable air coming in off the North Atlantic, some of those showers then heavy with the risk of hail and thunder. Overall, it's a breezy day for all, windy across many of the mountain tops, getting to gale force for periods over exposed higher terrain. So be aware of that one and factor in that wind chill as well. Just to run that rainfall sequence through the day, you can see how the heavy rains across central and southwest Scotland in the morning, that turning up increasingly across the Lake District through the morning and setting in fairly heavily here through the middle of the day. And that front then rather getting stuck onwards into the afternoon. So a pretty wet picture continues for the lakes and the Yorkshire Dales. Even the risk locally of some of those heavier bursts containing an embedded thunderstorm. So be aware of that. There's the showers also coming in to Western Scotland around the Cairngorms and the Southeast Highlands, generally a dry afternoon. That rain starts to get into Wales as we go into the evening time, some steadier rain at least. And that will be around overnight into Sunday, the rain moving into the Peak District too, but tending to break up as it does so. The legacy of this could be around first thing on Sunday morning. A bit of uncertainty just how soon that front does break up. So a rather cloudy, murky, drizzly to the start to Wales and the South Pennines. Some showers too still going across Western Scotland early on Sunday morning. Those will tend to fade, becoming fewer as we go onwards into the afternoon. Just a few drizzly showers left really around the West Coast. Most fairly cloudy day, we've got the best of the breaks across more eastern hills through Sunday. Watching for some further rain or showers just coming back up into Wales from the southwest as the day goes on. Wales is really where there is the greatest uncertainty then through Sunday daytime. In the footprint of fairly humid air and a lot of cloud, there is just that risk then of some ongoing areas of rain or drizzle and the old shower just breaking out as well. It's a slacker pressure pattern that develops through the day, so initially quite a brisk westerly breeze and feeling rather cool, but that wind will ease down with time. So lighter winds and temperatures just drifting up a bit as the day is going on. As we run on into Monday, there is a further frontal system then coming up from the southwest and uncertainty again exactly where this moves to. It looks as though it pivots gradually eastwards across the British Isles, which may mean it doesn't really get too far into Scotland. The greatest risk of some heavy rain really from southern Scotland into northern England and across Wales in the morning. For Wales, that cold front is likely to move through. A few showers following a gradual improvement in cloud base, but around the west coast of Wales may well be that that low cloud hangs on much of the day and where there's rain around for northern England too the cloud blanketing the hills for a good part of the daytime further north across the highlands a greater chance of escaping broadly dry some pulses of rain may be just drifting northwards for a time northernmost areas uh, the best chance of escaping dry the wind a little bit variable quite gusty south or southeasterlies for Scotland turning southwesterly and staying quite breezy across the hills of Wales Fairly complicated weather story continues into Tuesday. Southwesterly winds prevailing, a bit of a trail of fronts across England and South Wales may give some further rain, but that could miss most of the mountain areas, the heaviest of that rain at least. But nevertheless, some patchy, drizzly showers, maybe the odd heavier shower across North England and maybe some more frequent rain coming in on another front towards west and northwest Scotland. Further northeast toward the Cairngorms, a greater chance of being drier for longer, but watch for the odd heavy shower, particularly by the afternoon. The wind relatively light, temperatures then fairly humid toward the south, a bit cooler toward the north. 
Relatively cool air across all areas into Wednesday. Fairly average temperatures across England and Wales, a bit cool still across northwest Scotland, where some showers will continue to feed in off the Atlantic on southwesterly winds. If the front clears away eastwards across England and Wales, here then we've got a brighter day with high pressure building in. Western hills, though, around the Irish Sea for Wales and for the Lake District could just be stuck with some banks of low cloud. Best of any breaks further towards the east. Just watch your details then into early next week because as there was rather complicated fronts pass eastwards there might be just some subtle changes to that story but one where we can still expect some rain at times that's the message to take and for western scotland still a risk of some rain or showers even beyond midweek as southwesterly winds prevail higher pressure toward the south bringing some drier conditions most likely to wales north england and the south and east of scotland but as further frontal systems try and come in from the Atlantic, there is the risk of some further heavy rainfall trying to move in with quite a bit of uncertainty just on the timing and extent of this by the end of the week. We're trying to get high pressure have a go, but it's not as strong a zone of high pressure as we've seen earlier in the summer. So always just the risk, even by the end of the week, of some areas of showers being around. So a mixed weather story with some better days and still the risk of some rain or showers is where we go toward next weekend. The signal that we've got from the longer range modelling towards the end of August and even the first week of September is that fairly high pressure is likely to be nearby and the focus of that high looks as though it's somewhere just to the west or even the northwest of Britain which would keep Scotland by the stage under a drier weather regime. The suggestion of weak low pressure lying somewhere just to the southwest of Britain, there's a bit of a trough shown in the isobars on this particular chart, and that indicating that there could just be some areas of thundery rain around the Bay of Biscay, and that might try and get up into the south of Britain at times. So again, some uncertainty in the longer range story, but the signal for higher pressure to be nearby. So mixed, but maybe not particularly particularly unsettled is perhaps the way to go with more in the way of dry weather compared to wet weather. Hope that gives you something to work on. Of course, all the local details can be found on our website. That is your Friday planner in association with Ellis Brigham. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.